Danny and Matt, congratulations on being the Season 2 Titan Champions. You guys worked very hard for this, and what a show it was to watch last night on NBC. And when they announced your names, I was just so thrilled and so happy for you both, and you guys really deserve it. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, what was going through you guys when you both knew that you won this thing? Let's start off with you, Danny. Uh, so many emotions. I think at a point when I knew that I was going to like finish Mount Olympus first, uh, I had a lot of a lot of thoughts go through my head. Mostly just like screaming in my own head, like yay! Uh, that was like, <laughs> like just pure excitement. Um, but it was it was an awesome experience, and it was really cool to go and test you know skills that I've taken outside of this and like my life and my sport and bring it into something like this competition and. So it was, a, it was just great, still great, still kind of living in the moment. <laughs> yeah, how about for you, Matt? Uh, you know, I had a lot of ups and downs during the competition. Um, yeah. I was first just an alternate. I wasn't even supposed to be on the show. Um, so that was kind of like a, a pretty cool uh, surprise that I even made it on. And then, <laughs> you know, I, I won some events, I lost some events, and it was uh, a lot of emotions going up and down. And when I really decided to that I was going to win this thing was when I finally beat Joe Thomas on Mount Olympus for the second time. And I just decided that, you know, I've got the right mindset and, you know, these guys are great, but I think I can beat them. So uh, when I crossed that finish line against Will Sutton, it was really something special. And I'm, I was glad that my wife was there to experience yeah. it with me. Absolutely. I think that we did see a lot of ups and downs from not just you, but also Danny as well, and just all the contestants on this season of the show. But what was the biggest life lesson that you both learned from being part of Dwayne Johnson's The Titan Games? Uh, for me, it was, you know, patience. A lot of the, um, the shooting ahead of time, the uh, segments that we did behind the scenes, and, you know, even, even getting ready for an event, they would change the events at the last second and then extend our timeline a little bit longer. So it was, it was just ha having patience and, you know, going through the process of, you know, a, a Hollywood production. Um, but really, like at the end of the day, doing what, you know, Danny and I know how to do well, which is compete. And yeah. that's what really we, I just needed to focus on was doing my thing when the time came. What well, for you, Danny? I would have to really, I would have to agree with Matt is a lot of it was really just learning to go with the flow. and. A lot of times in competition, you know, sometimes events are delayed or something won't go exactly according to plan during the event. And it was very much that on, on set is they would say, okay, you guys are going to be up. And then, you know, two hours later, we we're actually up. So it was very much learning how to just be okay with the flow of somebody else's schedule and timeline uh, while competing. So just being prepared for anything and also being okay with being prepared for anything, I think is the biggest thing. Absolutely. Um, now, lastly, I want to ask you both, you know, how do you want fans to remember your season of being on the show and what's the message you'd like to put out there to others who would tune in each week and be inspired by the hard work that you both would do, you know, when going through these obstacles on the Titan Games? You know, I think, I think um, for me, it was, I think most people are going to connect. They're probably like the 35 plus year old men who are maybe giving in to, uh, to you know, family life and, and slowing things down a little bit because they're getting a bit older, they have aches and pains. And I think if anybody connected with me on that level where you know, I'm a 42 year old guy, I've had bad knees for years, my back's been injured multiple times, but I still just keep pushing forward. Um, if people can connect with me on that, then I, I think that that's a win for, for me and for them. And that's really, um, that's that's really what I'd like to take away from it. Very well said. How about for you, Danny? Uh, I hope that women of all ages were able to connect with me and find motivation and inspiration in their own lives and realize that you can come from a low spot in your life and achieve you know really great things. You just have to find something or something within yourself even that you're really passionate about and anyone can do it. Literally anyone can do it if you want it bad enough and you just got to take that first step. And I really hope that I can inspire and motivate anyone, any female or male, to just like take that first step in their own fitness journey or even their self-discovery, self-love journey, just anything that will help better their lives. I love that. Danny and Matt, congratulations again on being the season two Titan champions. Uh, it was such a pleasure and honor to get to speak with you guys this morning. 
thank you for your time and congratulations. And this can be like a little week long celebration for you both. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. count on it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care, guys. Have a good one. You okay, too. Okay, you too. Bye bye.